So my friends, I welcome all of you 105,000 star seeds, light workers and wanderers to this session. And today we have a session with the Pleiadians wherein we are talking primarily about, I have asked about interesting aspects and specifically the current events uh, such as what were the beings that attacked uh, some people in Peru. They, they said that they had seen alien looking beings who were able to fly and these beings you know they had a silvery you kind know, of structure this has been revealed the identity of the beings uh, who attacked people in peru and the other one is what is the real cause behind the wildfires happening in maui also furthermore uh, in this session i have asked about the looking glass event for august for this month so we can prevent it and also uh, in the session they said that the third density and the 4d or the fifth dimension split is happening at this time and how can we prepare for it and what we need to do at this time is discussed in this session also uh, they have discussed about a term known as miasma uh, they have discussed and stated what it is and how it affects us spiritually also they have described what is the cause of luck and synchronicity why are some people more lucky and why are some people not so lucky this has been explained and also towards the end i've asked about the past lives of dr david r hawkins uh, who was a spiritual teacher he created uh, many uh, spiritual teachings i hope you're already aware of him with that being said i want to say thank you to all of you who have joined on my patreon because we have a meditation upcoming for preventing the looking glass event which will be discussed in this session uh, if you want to join the link is on the description also i have around 400 plus censored channeling sessions available on patreon with that being said, I want to say thank you to all of you for liking this video because your like is a service to humanity. You are giving your service to others and it will help it to reach to other people who need this information at this time. With that being said, enjoy the session, my friend. We are the Pleiadians and we are here now, connected through this instrument's inner connection grid, which is open to allow this communication to happen at this time. We the Pleiadians before offering our thought forms would like to warn each entity who shall listen to our thought forms to only accept those insights which resonates deeply with the inner heart of the self and find a deeper connection in the truth and unity that is already found within each entity's internal heart. Firstly, we shall now address the queries that are presented which are related with the vibrations of understanding that the aspects regarding what was the real cause behind the Maui wildfires as has been affecting the people of your planet in the location of Maui? We the Pleiadians must state that this wildfire was caused by an energetic beam weapon which was directed from outer space by spacecraft whose originations were from the aspect known as the Orion Social Memory Complex. This was generated primarily because during that space-time of the occurrence of this event, an entity who was extremely positively oriented was found in the location of Maui. In order to stop this entity, the Orion stopped this entity by sending this energetic beam weapon which started the wildfires. Further, we send healing protection for the people of Maui and we recommend this instrument as well as those who want to send light and love can send the light and love to the location.
by using their imagination complex which will allow them to be healed and protected at this space time. The other query relates with who attacked the villagers in the location known by your people as Peru. We must state that the Pleiadians have to state that the attack upon the villagers in Peru was caused by the entities who appeared from the inner earth. These were those beings known as the reptilian shapeshifters who primarily have hidden inside the inner earth and are trying to work with their alliance of human elite entities in order to create the vibration of fear upon the earth planet. These entities were primarily spotted by some of the entities in the location of Peru. The human entities who spotted them immediately realized that these were extraterrestrial beings since the reptilian entities were able to levitate and also they were able to cause and inflict certain types of damage on the human bodily complex. Furthermore, we must state that the other query relates with what is the looking glass event for the month of August. As known in your space time, we must state that the looking glass for the month of August, primarily upon finding and scanning the future projection timeline, we find that on the space time of 27th August, the entities upon the Earth planet specifically those entities who are in control of the harp, weather manipulation systems, will find themselves in a tough situation wherein they will be given either a ultimatum to create an earthquake on the earth planet on various locations in the major hotspots or to let go of their agreements with the Orions and in turn let go of any benefits they receive. We can sense that this has been planned as per the Looking Glass event and a meeting of these entities will happen somewhere around 26th of August. Therefore, the entities upon the Earth planet who desire to stop this event can send love and light towards the harp location, which will allow it to be protected from any negative entities who may hamper with its functioning. The other query relates with how to protect oneself during the splits of third density and the beginning of fourth density or the fifth dimension and the signs that will be seen when it begins. We must state that the signs have already started since the events which are happening in Peru, in Maui as well as other events are hinting at the split of third density and the beginning of the fifth dimension or the fourth density has already began. Further, we the Pleiadians must state that the aspect of understanding during this time is primarily important. In this time of potential shifts of consciousness, many mind-body-spirit complexes will not be able to navigate themselves properly. Hence, for proper navigation, these are the important aspects which must be kept in mind. Firstly, the vibration of self-awareness will be required in the split sins. The vibration of self-awareness will allow the entities the truth of where their vibration is turning towards. Either they are moving towards the positive fourth density vibration or they are moving towards the negative vibration. 
And this will allow each mind, body, spirit complex to make a different choice. If the choice is not as per their desire. Furthermore, during this time, many of the unresolved emotions trauma and limiting beliefs may appear for each mind, body and spirit complex to address and to heal. This means that a requirement of inner work and healing will allow for this aspect to occur. And the other query relates with during this time of the shift, since there are mixed energies and vibrations floating around the space-time continuum of the Earth planet, it is important for those entities who desire to enter into the new Earth or the fourth density positivity vibration to make sure that the vibrations they entertain in their mind, body, and spirit complexes of a positively oriented love light vibration. And at this time, it is important to also release fear and attachment since the vibrations of fear and attachment anchor entities to the old third density vibration and it must be let go of at this timeline in this incarnation which will allow for the healing of various entities in this space-time vibration the other query relates with what is miasma and its spiritual significance we must firstly state that the vibratory sound complex known as miasma refers to the energetic vibrations of negativity which can affect an individualized mind-body-spirit complex and this is often associated with energies that are accumulating due to negative thought forms, emotions, actions or traumatic events which are primarily generated from negative vibrations of lower frequencies such as fear, anger, jealousy and other vibrations. The miasma is believed to have a potential of not only creating imbalances but also disrupting the mind-body-spirit complexes energy fields and affecting even the outer space. Further, the spiritual significance of this aspect is to recognize when it occurs and the requirement of cleansing. The cleansing of this aspect of miasma can be done primarily by becoming self-aware and by focusing only on positive thought forms which may appear in the mind space of an individualized entity. The other portion of the query relates with what is luck and synchronicity as found upon your planet and how does it operate in terms of spiritual sense upon your planet or sphere? We must state that firstly the understanding of this aspect of luck and synchronicity is primarily important since the dynamics of consciousness and its influence over your thoughts and your experiences are those aspects which allow to explore the connection or interplay between luck timing and synchronicity. We must state that there are certain forces upon the universal complex that draw to you the desires and manifestations of your inner heart. The mechanisms of this creation process is indeed profound. Further, in the understanding of your planetary sphere, many upon your planet perceive existence in this space-time illusion complex as a series of chance occurrences birth and survival are often 
considered the aspects which are created are subject to external factors and the trajectory of one's incarnation life cycle seems to be a creation or a dance with fate where the vibrations of accidents or circumstances abruptly occur in one's incarnational life cycle. Further, we must state that, firstly, there is a need to understand that the energies of intentions and expectation primarily have such an effect that these energies create the ability for the consciousness to align towards a particular outcome. Furthermore, we must state that these energies of intention and expectation alone are not the ultimate dictator of the fate of an individualized entity or the luck it receives. There are certain other forces, such as the law of giving which was the first law which was created by the universal complex wherein all things, all beings give and serve to others, such as the earth gives life to all entities, the water gives him life of quenching thirst to many mind-body-spirit complexes, and as well as the trees give out oxygen for entities to breathe upon your planetary sphere and if an entity also gives to others in terms of its actions in terms of its assistance then this is the highest law which determines the fate and the luck of an individualized mind-body-spirit complex, leading it towards highest levels of luck and vibration. Further, we must also state that there is a field of consciousness between the metaphysical and the empirical world and in this timeline this field of consciousness which lies between a individualized entity and the outside world it serves as a repository of thoughts and actions and this is the collective consciousness which shapes the energetic interactions of the outside world and this field primarily is connected with the Akashic record which in turn creates the memory of actions taken and furthermore provides these attributes to be projected into the future space-time if appropriated with the first law of the universe the law of giving therefore we the Pleiadians must now address the final query Related with the past lives of an entity named as David R. Hawkins by your people, whose incarnation in the previous timeline of its life cycle in Earth began on 1927 and it crossed over on 2012. The entity known as David R. Hawkins primarily spends the timeline elaborating on the spiritual nature of vibrational difference of consciousness in its earthly incarnation and it fulfill its mission as a wanderer from the sixth density fifth sub octave and the entity known as david r hawkins after crossing over has returned back to the Ra collective social memory complex as a part of the Ra sixth density social memory complex furthermore the entity known as david r hawkins primarily prior to its earthly incarnation was with the raw beings and it spent various of its incarnation timeline sending portion of its consciousness to various planetary spheres in each star system just like the earth star system and planet to teach entities about the law of vibration and awakening them
to self-awareness and self-consciousness. By doing so, this entity fulfilled its activation as a wanderer in many of its time line and the entry was found in its third density incarnation second density incarnation as well as the first density incarnation on the planets of Venus as known by your people around 605 million years ago, wherein it was given the sole name of Kura, which meant the clearing of the mist as known in the illusion language terms. It is indeed the part of the Venusians and has only one incarnation. As a human entity from the infinite timelines, we can sense which occurred as David R. Hawkins. Therefore, we the Pleiadians now leave you in light and love of the one infinite creator. Rejoice in power and peace. Bah. So now my friends, let me explain to you what I learned. Basically, they said that, you know, the beings who attacked the people in Peru were actually the reptilians who were inside the inner earth. And they came out and they attacked them. And the other thing is the uh, Maui wildfire was caused by a energetic beam weapon which was coming from outer space from a spacecraft from the Orion social memory complex. So that has been revealed. And also they said that looking glass for the month of August 27, the entities are planning to create earthquakes around the earth. So we need to stop that. So we need to meditate for that. We will do so on my Patreon. Also, uh, they have stated um, in this session that split has begun and we can protect ourselves and the best way to protect ourselves is through uh, self-awareness you know by making sure we are choosing the positive pathway and the other thing is that they said that miasma is actually uh, is a concept which refers to uh, negative energy that is created if you have too much negative thought forms and how to release it has been discussed in the session uh, the other thing that they described was luck actually is dependent upon many factors but primarily it is dependent upon one factor and that is the law of giving they stated that in everything gives something to others so if you give something to others you become more lucky and this is the secret towards luck and synchronicity right and the other thing is finally they talk about the past life of david r hawkins which is amazing he's actually a sixth density being uh, perhaps the only uh, person i believe uh, i have uh, found to be from sixth density so he's actually pretty high up in the scale uh, and he had created many teachings and he came from the rock collective which is amazing so if you want to also know about your past lives and your soul name and your purpose in life you can send me an email over here also i want to say thank you to all of you for getting the book version of my channel sessions the link is on the description if you want to read it in a book format and also thank you to all of you for downloading the free pdf of all my ch channel sessions transcript you can download for free the link is on the description with that being said i hope you enjoyed this session and enjoy this session over here